Let me ask you a question. Do you enjoy weird gadgets, good deals, and the earthly aroma of a large crowd? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Who doesn't? I know I do. There is only one place in the firearms community that brings all of these things together in one place. That's right, folks. It's your local gun show. Today, we explain the entertaining, strange, and sometimes just downright odd people that you're going to meet at the local gun show. So sit back, make sure to bring cash, and let's start the show. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. After paying $5 to $20 to enter into your local gun show, you are immediately greeted by acres upon acres of folding tables covered with books. What? The man behind the table is wearing a surplus army jacket from a country definitely not in NATO, and he keeps his mirrored aviator sunglasses on at all times. Feelings of betrayal rise up inside you like Anakin Skywalker about to laser Ginsu some younglings because you didn't come here to read. I was elected to lead, not to read. As you walk by, you notice the books cover a wide range of interesting topics, such as 101 uses for urine, the healing properties of copper, and the instruction manuals for things that, if done, would certainly be very, very illegal. If you haven't already guessed it, the Book Table Guys books aren't available at your local Barnes & Noble. If one book does strike your fancy, you'll find the book table guy only accepts payment in gold dust, bitcoin, or finely crafted pewter figurines. Probably best to just keep on walking by, or at least not be seen buying these things in public. It's a trap! After breezing on by the book table guy, or not, we don't judge, you'll be greeted by the military metal guy. The military metal guy has half a dozen mannequins dressed in detailed recreations of the Prussian Army meteorologist uniform, along with authentic replicas of military metals haphazardly displayed in locked cabinets. Oh no, dear God, tell me you didn't stop to look at the display. Oh no, you've fallen into one of the classic gun show traps. Showing the slightest interest in the Metal Guy's offerings earns you a 60 minute lecture about the history of different stitchings on uniforms from the age of Napoleon to Otto von Bismarck. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. You'll politely listen, especially if you're from the Midwest, as your eyes glaze over, flashing back to that high school history class you barely passed. As Metal Guy's voice drones on and on and on, you start praying for an attack of your military-grade tinnitus. You'll know the lecture is at an end when he starts shit-talking all the other vendors at the show. Having listened to his impromptu History Channel documentary, you'll ask if you can touch some of the goods. How? Dare you! The metal guy does not let filthy normies like you put their hands on the goods. And besides, the one you're interested isn't for sale. Realizing you've been at a gun show for over an hour and not even seen a single firearm or firearms accessory, you begin to move with a little bit more of a purpose. Suddenly having to duck, dip, dive, and dodge as a random customer from the knife table decides to display their impromptu demonstration of his dual katana ninja samurai technique. I almost ran out of breath when I said that. Congratulations, you have now met the Blade Guy. Mother of God. Blade Guy, well, he's a man out of time. He's dressed head to toe in Renaissance Fair LARPing leather. The bandana across his head has something written in Japanese on it. You don't speak Japanese, but that's okay, because neither does he, and you're both equally mystified by what it says. Try not to laugh though, Blade Guy has been trained by the finest sword masters that YouTube has to offer, and he's thoroughly a dangerous man. That's a knife. That's a knife. Blade Guy doesn't own any firearms, choosing to make himself the real weapon. His Instagram feed is also littered with pictures of his sword and ninja star collection presented on an unmade bed and videos of him practicing in the dojo that he's set up in his mom's basement. Having survived this far, you are greeted by the welcoming smell of cosmoline and gun oil. Finally, you've made it to the gun section of the gun show. It's weird, I know. You see rows and rows of wooden stocks and the comforting sounds of bolts locking into place. Finally, it's time to look at some guns. That's when you'll know you've met the I know what I've got guy.
you approach a table with rows of Chinese SKSs. These must be authentic because they have the look of being maintained by a peasant army in the jungles of Asia. The stock shows signs of use as a hammer, as a boat oar, and as a cooking surface. The man selling them is wearing a trucker hat with the Wynum Dynam 69 logo emblazoned across it. Oh boy, this is gonna go well. He insists that the barrels aren't pitted or rusted. Nope, me boy, that's just patina, he says. Making a reasonable offer, he starts looking at you like you just overflowed the toilet in his RV and impregnated his cat. He follows that look up with a quote with more numbers than the federal debt. Taking back the rifle, he turns his back to you and grumbles to the bored woman smoking marble 100s in the chair next to him. I know what I got here. Those damn kids don't know anything. I can't believe he just lowballed me. What do I even waste my time here for? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what else I can say. I'm running out of ideas. That work? Yep. Suddenly, a piercing scream rings out and the air is filled with the buzz of static electricity and the smell of burning hair. <coughs> you, my friend, are about to meet the taser guy. The thing about the taser guy is you will always hear him before you see him. The unmistakable crackle of multiple stun guns and tasers surrounds this man like a brass band on the 4th of July. Taser Guy may be too limiting of a name just because of the fact that he sells all manner of electricity-based weapons. Taser Guy demonstrates their effectiveness by constantly stunning a marketing intern from the local community college. Geez, bud, I sure hope that half hour of credit was worth it. They might be effective, but you can't help but feel that all of Taser Guy's devices are somehow a fire hazard with enough electricity to get Marty back to the future. To generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! Moving away from that convulsing intern, you feel a sudden hunger in your stomach, and your nose leads you along to the intoxicating aroma of meat and spices. You're about to meet the Gun Gourmet. The Gun Gourmet has created an extremely niche line of spices designed to enhance the flavor of exotic meats. Need that perfect spice for something like badger, beaver, or maybe possum? Well, the Gun Gourmet has got you covered. He displays his offerings in small plastic baggies with barely decipherable handwritten labels all across them, all laid out on a plaid tablecloth that he stole from his wife's kitchen table. He offers free samples of meat that you don't recognize on a hot plate. Intrigued, you move closer and hear, this is the perfect spice for tarantula. Nope. Quickly executing a move that would make Mario and Dreddy proud, you change course looking for something more mainstream. This is America, and you know there's got to be a chili dog around here somewhere. Hey folks, I got a bonus for you all, but first let me know the weirdest thing or best deal you ever got at a gun show in the comments section down below. All right, there is one last person that you have yet to meet at the gun show. He has a buzz cut, an Amazon Basics polo shirt, and starched khaki pants. He'll ask you where you're from, what kind of guns you're into, and if you know where to buy solvent traps and sawed-off shotguns. Suddenly, all of the dogs in the area will start to growl as if a T-1000 has just entered your resistance bunker. Congratulations, you just met definitely not a fed guy. Definitely not a fed guy will stay the whole day trying not to be spotted writing down license plate numbers or wandering from booth to booth. You'll hear him ask everyone about those lightning links, ghost guns, and bump stocks. He'll show no sign of having a good time as he's on the clock and there's no fun to be stamped out. If you meet the definitely not a fed, just remember if you say something foolish, you'll probably get a visit later. As the gun show starts to wind down, you'll almost certainly have not bought a gun because, let's be honest folks, those prices, well, they were for suckers. One thing that's not for suckers, though, is to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps spread our Pro 2A content for new viewers, and you can also join me on Twitch at Tundra Gaming Live, where I'm going to be live right as this video drops. Don't forget to join us next time, folks, when we still don't know what the fuck we're doing. Bye bye